Psalm 119. How blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. How blessed are those who observe his testimonies, who seek him with all their heart. They also do no unrighteousness. They walk in his ways. You have ordained your precepts that we should keep them diligently. Oh, that thy ways may be established to keep your statutes. Then I shall not be ashamed when I look upon all your commandments. I shall give thanks to you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. I shall keep your statutes. Do not forsake me utterly. How can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping it according to your word. With all my heart, I have sought you. Do not let me wander from your commandments. Your word I have treasured in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips, I have told of all the ordinances of your mouth. I have rejoiced in all the way of your testimonies. As much as is in riches, I will meditate on your precepts and regard your ways. I shall delight in your statutes. I shall not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold wonderful things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is crushed with longing after your ordinances at all times. You rebuke the arrogant, the cursed, who wander from your commandments. Take away reproach and contempt from me, for I observe your testimonies. Even though princes sit and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight. They are my counselors. My soul cleaves to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have told of my ways, and you have answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, so I will meditate on your wonders. My soul weeps because of grief. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove the false away from me, and graciously grant me your law. I have chosen the faithful way. I have placed your ordinances before me. I cling to your testimonies, O Lord. Do not put me to shame. I shall run the way of your commandments, for you will enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to dishonest gain. Turn away my eyes from looking at vanity and revive me in your ways. Establish your word to your servant and that which produces reverence for you. Turn away my reproach which I dread for your ordinances are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me through your righteousness. May your loving kindness also come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. So I will have an answer for him who reproaches me, for I trust in your word. And do not take the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I wait for your ordinances. 
So I will keep your law continually forever and ever. I will walk in liberty and I seek your precepts. I will also speak of your testimonies before kings and shall not be ashamed. I shall delight in your commandments, which I love, and I shall lift up my hands to your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember the word to your servant, in which you have made me hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, that your word has revived me. The arrogant utterly deride me, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I have remembered your ordinances from of old, O Lord, and comfort myself. Burning indignation has seized me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes are my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. O Lord, I remember your name in the light and keep your law. This has become mine, that I observe your precepts. The Lord is my portion. I have promised to keep your words. I sought your favor with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your word. I consider my ways and turn my feet to your testimonies. I hasten and did not delay to keep your commandments. The cords of the wicked have encircled me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I shall rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous ordinances. I am a companion of all those who fear you and of those who keep your precepts. The earth is full of your loving kindness, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. You have dealt with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good discernment and knowledge. For I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, and now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The arrogant have forged a lie against me. With all my heart, I will observe your precepts. Your heart is covered with fat, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of my mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hands made me and fashioned me, giving me understanding that I may learn your commandments. May those who fear you see me and be glad, because I wait for your word. I know, O Lord, your judgments are righteous, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. O may your loving kindness comfort me, according to your word to your servant. May your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. May the arrogant be ashamed, for they subvert me with a lie, but I shall meditate on your precepts. May those who fear you turn to me, even those who know your testimonies. May my heart be blameless in your statutes, so that I will not be ashamed. My soul languishes for your salvation. I wait for your word. My eyes fail with longing for your word, while I say, When will you comfort me? Though I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, I do not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you execute judgment on those who persecute me? The arrogant have dug pits for me, men who are not in accord with your law. All the commandments are faithful. They have persecuted me with a lie. Help me. They almost destroyed me on the earth. But as for me, I did not forsake your precepts. Revive me according to your loving kindness, that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness continues throughout all generations. 
You establish the earth, and it stands. They stand this day according to your balances. They stand this day according to your ordinances. For all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, then I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have revived me. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me. I shall diligently consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection. Your commandment is exceedingly broad. Oh, how I love your law. It is a meditation all the day. Your commandments make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever mine. I have more insight than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, because I have observed your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I may keep your word. I have not turned aside from your ordinances, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. From your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn, and I will confirm it, that I will keep your righteous ordinances. I am exceedingly afflicted. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. O oh, accept the free will offering of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your ordinances. My life is continually in my hand. Yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me. Yet I have not gone astray from your precepts. I have inherited your testimonies forever. For they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever, even to the end. I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I wait for your word. Depart from me, evildoers, that I may observe the commandments of my God. Sustain me according to your word that I may live, and do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Uphold me that I may be safe, that I may have regard for your statutes continually. You have rejected all those who wander from your statutes, for their deceitfulness is useless. You have removed all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant for good. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail with longing for your salvation and for your righteous word. Deal with your servant according to your loving kindness and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have broken your law. Therefore I love your commandments above gold, yes, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem right all your precepts concerning everything. I hate every false way. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul observes them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I opened my mouth wide and panted, for I longed for your commandments. Turn me and be gracious to me after your manner, which those who love your name. Establish my footsteps in your word. Do not let any iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me 
from the oppression of man, that I may keep your precepts, make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of water, because they do not keep your law. Righteous are you, O Lord, and righteous are your judgments. You have commanded your testimonies in righteousness and exceedingly faithfulness. My zeal has consumed me because my adversaries have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is truth. Trouble and anguish have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. I cried with all my heart, answer me, O Lord. I will observe your statutes. I cried to you, save me. I shall keep your testimonies. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I wait for your words. My eyes anticipate the night watches, that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to your loving kindness. Revive me, O Lord, according to your ordinances. Those who follow after wickedness draw near. They are far from your law. You are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are truth. Of old I have known from your testimonies that you have confounded them forever. Look upon my affliction and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your mercies, O Lord. Revive me according to your ordinances. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, yet I do not turn aside from your testimonies. I behold the treacherous and loathe them, because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Revive me, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous ordinances is everlasting. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great spoil. I hate and despise falsehood but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous ordinances. Those who love your law have great peace and nothing causes them to stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. Let my lips utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. Let my tongue sing of your word, for all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live, that it may praise you, and let your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Psalm 119.